Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here, and welcome to a playthrough of Journey to the Savage Planet. Uh, before we begin, a quick thank you to 505 Games for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard about Journey to the Savage Planet, you're going to want to check this out if you're a fan of uh, Subnautica, No Man's Sky, Slime Rancher. It's very reminiscent of some of those games. Uh, the game is releasing next week on January 28th. I'm able to show you up to two of the four available biomes here before that happens. And we'll need to basically find materials, unlock upgrades to traverse and access these different areas. Uh, very similar to unlocking different areas in something like Subnautica. The way that the story is set up, we're alone on a new planet. Check. Strange Corporation telling us what to do. Check. Bunch of weird creatures in all these different biomes. Check. I mean, what? obviously what could go wrong? Nothing. Nothing could go wrong, right? If you're interested in checking out the game for yourself, it's available on PC, PS4, or Xbox One. I'll have a link down below for you. You can also play this cooperatively, uh, but that does require friends. So, you know, obviously I'll be playing this alone. And for those of you who do have friends, maybe tell me what that's like. It's like that was our maximum chill den. Hi, my name is Martin Tweed, president and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. Okay, let's listen to the, of course, very trustworthy man on the TV for our orientation. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. Good, we need that. I'm excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration <laughs> company. Fourth best, okay. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel we have been i mean he nailed it that's striving. the one Drive requirement for my survival apparel it's got to be chic and now to the stars our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement which is why you are here our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Maybe. Yours is... ERY26. I love how they, they record it once and they just like dub in whatever the, Your the planet is. is to explore the planet's surface. Catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities. Oh and send your data back to our They've really thought this through. Here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover... It's like stock lab footage in the background too. For you and your partner, if you have one. Well, thanks. We don't have I one. Thanks. Also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. Oh, excellent. <laughs> We've got nothing. But don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless okay, so that's... you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. Well, I'd rather not. But maybe some return that, fuel would have been nice. I don't want to take up too much of your time. And I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Oh, God. Stay alive. And see you soon. It's always good when they sign off at the solid, like, stay alive. All right, Kindred Aerospace, thanks. Long-term space travel is not for everyone. Side effects for long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, blood stools, feeling of emptiness or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue time exceeds six months. Hemorrhoids. Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide me. you on your mission. But first things first, please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. Okay, okay. We will. What else do we have going on here? So we've got our staff quarters, our maximum chill bed. But full of... I don't know what's on... I don't know what's on the walls, but I'm pretty sure that that's not my fault. Start up, cash in, sell out, broke down. Please take the questionnaire what? on the computer. Otherwise, I can't open the door. Uh, okay. Or the lights or feed you. Her name is Echo, E-K-O. We've got Grob. Metamorphological food paste. From Succulent Farms. <laughs> Succulent meal. Mm. 
the only food in this universe that tastes exactly like it sounds. It's like a spray. What is it? Spray cheese? Just like mom's spaghetti? <laughs> Eminem. Got it. Got it. <laughs> okay. You do know what a computer looks like, right? I'm checking out our... It's new old stuff. Our ship. Look for the screen with the envelope icon on it. Jeez. And log in so I can open the door. It'll be quick, I swear. It's like we're doomed. We've turned our shower into a uh, video games den. Very nice. Uh, meet Buddy Deluxe. Meet your new best friend. Okay. Oh, this is our I javelin. You may also not know what an envelope looks like. It's an old, old tech. It was like a piece of paper that you could put other pieces of paper inside. It's hard to describe. Like a square with a hole. Okay, uh, I get it. That's right. I get it. Just find the computer. I get it. While I will. nothing in the world I would like more than to launch this craft back to Earth so you could rejoin your loved ones, should you have any. This I don't. This impossible until you find a suitable fuel source on the planet. Okay. Please take the questionnaire on the computer. Otherwise, I can't Round trip. Or turn on the lights or feed you. Look at this guy. We got uh, Bill Chunk. Looking for love. Gentleman by day. Bad boy by night. <laughs> Hi, Jason. It's Dad. How do I stop making a list on the computer? Oh, wait. I think it's... Okay. Uh, Chinese restaurant in Montreal. Neo Neo Montreal, Quebec. Old Earth. Love that. Where I live. Please take the questionnaire Okay. The okay. Okay. Let's take the questionnaire. Otherwise, Jeez. I can't open the door or turn on the lights or feed you. Okay. She makes she makes a fair point. These are all... These, these are things that we obviously want. New report. Looks like you made it. Good job. As per your Kindred Employee Experience Program Benefits Contract, you're contractually obligated to submit regular reports during your mission. Let's begin. One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state. Oh and my as God. space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? Uh, one of these images is a photo of you. Which is it? I mean, it's obviously... It's obviously... God, I hate... I love... Okay, we're going to pick the bangs. We're going to pick the guy with the bangs. Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. Yeah, me too. Thank you for your time, Explorer J75X321. This is the end of your report. Press the submit button to send your answers. This is all you wanted was my picture? All right, what do we got in here? Welcome. Welcome to the first day of your great adventure. We would not... We could not be more excited to welcome you to Planet Name here. As a key member of Kindred's quest to explore the stars, it is imperative that brave people such as yourself turn over every rock, scan every blade of grass, and dig the precious crafting ingredients from the innards of every beast you encounter, so that our database may grow and humanity may continue to expand across the infinite reaches of space. Humanity has been trapped on Earth for the entirety of its existence. We can be bigger, we can be more. Help us get there. Cecilia yours, Martin Tweed, founder and CEO. Excellent. Excellent. Play the welcome video again if we want. Okay, what else do we have in here? Stats, alien research, collectibles. We'll get into that. Trash. Hi, Mom. Updates. Turn for the worst. Sorry for the slow response. Not say the journey is long or difficult. Okay, we're going to read these later. We will be here, I'm sure. Okay. And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious oh, yeah, new good. planet. I want to be decombobulated. What is this? Kick aliens? Don't eat aliens. Don't touch aliens. Got it. Pretty standard uh, space travel stuff, I suppose. All right. Oh, hello. Yeah, she's seen better days. So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. Floor detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Great. Sounds good for hey, me. In your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. Okay. Launch the cartographers. Got a really cool, uh, really cool style. Okay, obviously it's not working. Oh, never mind. Oh. 
Hey, look, I think these are friends. We do have some. Great. Now they'll provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. Just like my family at Christmas time. Gone. The chapel is pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang upness. Do that now. Okay, so Z to show tracked mission objectives, Don't toggle to scanning mode. Scan your surroundings. The camera oh, yeah. will transmit data back to Kindred HQ, which will send you blueprints for stuff. That's cool. Then you can collect stuff to make the stuff in the blueprints, and that stuff will She's... help you survive against the stuff you took pictures so of. So detailed, thanks. Foreign fuel, fuel line, that's not good. But empty. If you can Correct. find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. This I don't want to be home. This panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you okay. lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. This machine Javelin teleporter unit. Memory. Delete your body and then print a copy of it five feet away. What's this thing? That's Busted not landing to gear. Look like that. Not supposed to look like that. Yeah, obviously. Thank you. So problem scan three of three. Missing panel scanned is what we need next. Okay. Let's go look for it. Ooh. Hello. Attached part of the javelin's hull. There is our missing panel. Well done. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Yeah, now we're talking. Let me mark it. Oh, it's back here. Okay. Find a way out of the ice caves. I am detecting a fortuitously fragile Ooh. surface nearby. Please scan to confirm. These crystals fragile crystals. Are extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. <laughs> so, okay. Looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. What are the things on the... Is that... Is that poo? Base to jump. Go over there! It works. Uh, e to slap or kick. Hold E to release and power slap. Seriously? Oh my god. Rob is delicious. Hold Q to aim and throw. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. These guys drop carbon. Let me scan this thing. Of course we can. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Good drugs. For healing, not fun. Oh, yeah. Good, good, yeah. Good drugs are bad. Good drugs are bad. That heals us. Often for a quick shot of health. I feel bad for these little guys, but honestly, uh, they're all dropping carbon. So I feel like we should take advantage of that. We used to bait the creatures around, so if we need to get them to go somewhere, there might be uh, some ways to lure them with this. Okay, let's go build the thing to get us through the gate that we saw. It gives me serious Subnautica vibes, man. Like, big time. Automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Okay. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. Now, I don't know if we can get into, like, building stuff. The grab and go superlicious mega morphological food base from Suckage Bug. It runs ads, too. Number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier. With oh, that looks so tasty. Power booster edge 20 million. Rock, 
anatomically reconfigurable nano clusters simulate a virtually unlimited number of foods and beverages in your mouth and straight into your stomach for maximum satisfaction <laughs> with exemplary convenience with tastes, flavors, and textures like feet, chicken, corn, chocolate mousse, candy, chocolate Oh yeah, look at they all look so unique. Parmesan cheese, vanilla swirl, John Donuts, Salisbury steak, pasta paisano, buffalo banana waves, horse biscuits, pineapple pizza poppers, lamb's lean poutine, wonton fecal surprise, cucumber shit, nose broth, and literally trillions more. Wonton fecal surprise? The 100% artificial food replacement shell taking Earth by storm. Don't be a snob. Eat with the mob. Replace your food with bra. Consider the plus nine petrol cluster is not there for non-terrestrial temperatures. Do not under any circumstances be to starve. Something, something for details. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, does this mean we have something new here? Doesn't look like it. Maybe this is... Oh, okay. So it's showing these as being new. That's what the exclamation's on. I gotcha. Okay. So now we need to print something. Fixer upper. Ready to craft nomad pistol. Journal-wise, craft the pistol. Be safer with a plasma pistol. Time to hit the printer. Global. Survey the planet. Round trip. Find a fuel source. Index. This is a master list of all the plants... We found on ARY26, Fragile Crystal, Vitality Plants. They're not miracle fruits, they're hallucinogens. They reduce pain and make you believe you're healthier than you are. Okay, great. That's fantastic. Okay, so weapon-wise, how does this work? Nomad Pistol, we can print this. We need 10 carbon. Aim, fire, and reload. Seems pretty straightforward. Now you've got a weapon. The single most important tool for any colonizer like that now how does this work supercharged shot so i guess every time you unlock a new kind of hex you're going to get access to the ones around it not necessarily because these ones aren't so we'll see uh we have aluminum carbon silicon and alien alloy that we're going to be looking out for our rank right now is a junior explorer um we have fast reloads supercharged shots improved damage advanced batteries what are some of the other upgrades here? Items-wise, basic utility belt. You can carry three objects of any type. Improved utility belt, so we can increase our carry amount and then some other unlocks at some point. Gear-wise, standard spacesuit. There's a uh, tether and a live sampler. Backpack-wise, we've got... It's refurbished, but it is... It is it, it's fine. It holds things. It's discontinued and refurbished, but it's fine. Jump thrusters eventually, launch boosters, stomp boosters, and then a visor. So we can do our scans. Here's a smarter visor. has a bigger detection range. Also improves your zoom distance and improves survey range. I didn't even know we had a zoom. I don't know how to zoom yet. Okay, so did we make it? I think we made one. Yeah, so I guess we'll get it when we go out. There it is. Cool. Temperature 81 degrees. Biosigns nominal. Okay. Shoot your way out of the ice caves. So this, I guess, is going to break through. Yes, it does. I feel like... Do we have unlimited ammo here? Oh, that's cool. Look at the gun. Yeah, but then... The bitch slapping is also so nice. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what feels good in the moment. What do we have back here, I wonder? Ooh. Yeah, there's definitely something going on here. I don't think I can make this jump, if I had to guess. Mm, no. You know, we had to try. So we'll probably need an unlock to reach that area. Stamina goes pretty quickly. Health-wise, that took off, like, a decent chunk. Oh, my God amount of stuff we can scan. 
polypod trees, wildly branching, rosy fungusoid. The tip of each branch is it capped with a little weird, but pom pom. Do you see a large tower looming above you? Holy, I yeah, we do actually. My system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly <laughs> contradict this idea. Ah, uh, yes. I will seems contact to. your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Thanks. What is this? Please Jump on these unborn children, eggs springing egg sacs? Like a natural trampoline. Ethically iffy, yes. Effective? <laughs> you bet. Looks a grapple flower. To the grapple plant, grapple plant, plap. This is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. Okay, so locate and extract the required sample. In your journal, you can view your active missions and check which ones to track. I have track. received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we will. We need to find this alloy, so that's number one. And then this, uh, if we can find the required sample, we get a proton tether that we can use to attach to those flowers, I guess. I like that it's a slow kind of unlock for uh, different ways of traversing. That's kind of neat. So, where is this? How far away is this right now? Uh, 278. 272 meters. Alright. Whoops. And then we have this. 272. Okay, so they're both in the same place. Yes. Go check it out. I don't know how dangerous these things are. Organic compound, which may be useful on our exploration effort. Alien edibles. Scan it. Just in case Upper bird nest. wasn't sadistic enough. <laughs> salt crystals. It, but they're salty as hell. Maybe we can scan the actual Aww. guys. Oh, it's cool. Chilly. It's just like a little card. Hold and loves you. Oh no! They, we've been murdering them. Like we've just, and we haven't even been holding back at all. I feel a little bit bad. Danny orange goo. Hmm, I believe that mixing that orange substance with your oxygen supply may allow me to. Tweak its impact on your biology, which would in turn allow you to be more attuned to the local climate. Long term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your decision. Right, totally my decision. Please mm -hmm. remain calm. I am monitoring oh, sick. your physical response. All health and stamina upgraded. I am adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. Did I see there's a hundred of these things? Ooh, they are actually fighting me back here. They only love me until I start whipping them. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna have to keep an eye out for those orange goo sacks. Man, this is really beautiful out here. Holy. Look for anything that we can scan. Massive skull. Mega quadrupeds. Whoa, cool. Like a mammoth. Ooh, can we go in? <laughs> We're inside of it. Wait, this is not where we came out. Secret nearby? Hello. Oh, I see. Okay, so now it added a little pip underneath the stamina. Wait, what? Alien proximity door. Seems to respond to your energy signature. You won't get through unless you manage to disable its mechanism. A big lightning shock should do the trick. Let me see oh, if you okay. found anything useful that will allow you to upgrade your suit to do something similar to a lightning jolt. 
I'll update your compass if they found anything. That upgrade would be very useful indeed. You're damn right. I have sent a request to Kindred, but we have yet to locate the required resources on this planet. Stay tuned. I wonder if we can use this. I don't think so. Okay, so what's cool about this, we're, we're already unlocking a bunch of different possibilities. Uh, keep exploring while the cartographers search for a suitable resource, which would give us this shock fruit stabilizer. Identified a new upgrade I need, but so far the cartographers could not locate a suitable material, which would allow me to craft it. Hope that as I continue to explore, they'll eventually find an appropriate source. Okay, so let's, let's focus on our main deal right now. That's kind of neat that when you go into an area that might have a uh, secret, it'll tell you about that. Meat vortex. Meat. Charming. That's looks scrumptious, I guess. These Parasitic vines. Onto a nearby host creature in order to survive. Interesting. I love that. This is what I love about games like this. Uh, you just have to. You're just exploring. We're gonna check things out. Unlock a few things and just like. See what the hell's out here. This plant's berries Mesmer are toxin. and slightly hallucinogenic. As oh. with all edibles, take it slow. <laughs> As with all edibles, take it slow. Good advice. Good advice. Carbon vein. Smash this depo rich deposit of carbon open to retrieve its bounty of resources. I don't think I can just bitch slap. Okay, I can. I can. I can bitch slap the carbon right off the ground. Impressive. Well, let's try this thing. Oh! Oh! Well, that wasn't too bad. That was actually great. I love this... <laughs> the way that we slap. It's so solid. Okay. Let's get out of here and go towards the objective. Oh, man. I can see me just, like, wanting to explore every little cavern. That looks like it takes us back towards our ship area. We have another one of these little orange sacks out here. Jelly Waft Basin. Whoa! Whoa, wait, what the? Oh! These guys were under... <laughs> That's so cool. I wonder if... Let's see. I might need to throw this somewhere closer, but I'm out of it. Yikes. They were like squ squid or something underwater. But they morphed or they have like an adaptation or something. Okay, so I imagine that those pips might go up every time. Good news is those things you ate made you way harder to kill. Bad news is you're harder to kill because most of your bones have been replaced with rock-hard space tumors. Oh, news, great. Potential partners dig tumors. Or so I hear. <laughs> oh, yeah. How to get my tumor game on, obviously. Stand out as a really eligible bachelor. His bonus tumors. This is Heard it while of Zill. Than the ones on Earth. But the ants are the same size. Like, there is just so much out here already. In this small amount of time. Canopy leaf. So luscious, so luxurious. So should I be smacking these? Hmm. I guess eventually we'll kind of learn what are the things we can get resources from and what, what we can't. What the hell was that? These guys are different. Like a normal puffer bird, but wrinkly. I like that we don't need to manage ammo. At least in this gun. Oh. 
Now, hold on a second. Okay, so earlier we saw that these were... You kill the host and the branches break. So we have to kill this thing. Feed it a puffer bird. Ah, okay. Feed it a puffer bird and see what happens. That probably breaks this. That lets us get into here. But I don't have a way of feeding it a puffer bird. Oh, I should have scanned that. I still can. Smash this rich deposit of silicon open to retrieve its bounty resources. So how would I... These are weeds. These are weeds. Okay. Oh, tentacles. Oh, thirstier creature living deep underground. What? There's got to be a way for us to get those little puffers into that thing. I don't have a tool for that yet, unless I can maybe... Unless I can maybe uh, throw the grob or whatever. Got secrets nearby. Oh god. That's gonna drive me that's gonna drive me wild. Because you know we're gonna run into an area, it's gonna say secret, and you're gonna be like, okay, well, what are the possibilities? I feel like right now, because we have so few tools. Can we jump on this? How high does this take us? Uh not very. Alright. So it looks like this is a dead end, but there is one of those hooks up here, which we don't have access to. I don't think... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh! Fiery death. Like that. Cartographer came and saved us, though. Took off a little bit of health, but it's not a permadeath. Oh, now, hold on a second. Okay, now we're up here. There we go. As much as you may like to make the attempt, the jump in front of you is beyond your current capabilities. But fear Maybe not. Jump the thrusters. The have found a deposit of a rare fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for some basic jump thrusters. Please redirect your exploration efforts towards it. Okay, so they're saying... Okay, so we're going to need to find that in order to progress. That's our lock. That's not the... It's not the grapple. Who are these creatures? I hope the statue's not to scale. Okay, let's check this out then. Locate and extract the required sample. I found the appropriate... Oh, the cartographers found it. I just need to... Oh, I just need to find it and then get back to the thing. So they know what it is. And they're telling me, go and get it and then bring it back. So what's probably going to be happening is we're going to end up getting to certain areas that we can't pass. And then their cartographers at that point are going to be like, okay, hey, we know what we need to do. Uh, you just need to go and figure it out. So ultimately, the cartographers are the, the smartest beings on the planet. It thinks you're gonna Babushka? Oh, how accurate. <laughs> oh, they like spawn into a different thing. Runic alien brick. Now, what is it that we're looking for? These plants can't grapple barnacles? Grapple seed. So we need to put a seed there. These aren't reeds. Penta weeds. Exactly like a normal squid, except for its aerial properties and size and everything about it. Well, we were bang on, we called it squid. Let's heal up here.
Man, this is really cool. I like this a lot. Glimmering Cave of Wonder. Okay, guys, I'll tell you what. I could just keep going, keep going, keep going. But I'm going to take a break here. And uh, when we come back, we'll uh, go in here. We're going to find whatever it is that we need to find from the cartographers. Probably go back to the ship, get some jump thrusters, go back out, probably unlock the grapple thing, and then see where that takes us, and then go on and go on and go on, and hopefully not die. Um, this is really fun. It seems really lighthearted, but I'm kind of excited to see where it goes. Like, what's possible? What is out here? What are the other things that we can unlock? And, uh, I'm sure we're gonna have fun doing it. So, if you guys like the video, please drop a like. It helps me a lot. And, uh, I'll have links down below if you want to get the game for yourself. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.